Do you think that we can change a triangle into a rectangle? Have a look here. Here's a cardboard cutout of a triangle. Why don't you make your own cardboard triangle and follow along with me? I'm going to fold this vertex onto the base like this so that I can find the midpoint of the sides of the triangle. I'll use my marker to mark the line where the midpoints are joined and I'll use a pair of scissors to cut along this line. I'll use the height mark as a guide to cut along here as well. I now rotate the triangle like this and rotate this triangle like this. Let's look at that again. Did you get it? Let's use a diagram to show you what we did. Let's call this triangle M P O with height H. We found the midpoints of the two sides of the triangle by folding. We label them Q, N and join the line. I'm also going to label this point here S where the perpendicular meets the line QN. Can you see another two triangles inside this new triangle that I've made? They are triangle MSQ and triangle MSN. We cut out the triangles. Then we rotated triangle MSQ around point Q and then rotated triangle MSN around point N. And so we created a rectangle like this. Do you see that this point S has actually become the vertex of this rectangle and has moved to create this point over here as well. So we have got the rectangle SPOS prime. We already know the formula for calculating the area of a rectangle. It is the base times the perpendicular height. Let's look at this changing of the triangle into a rectangle carefully again and see if you can work out the formula of the triangle. We have kept the base of this triangle, PO, the same in this rectangle. We know that the area of a rectangle is area is equal to base times and I'm going to call the height of this rectangle capital H. Now, when we found this rectangle, all we did was move pieces of the triangle to make this rectangle. So we can instead say that the area is equal to the base times, now the height of this side was half the height of the original triangle. So we can write this height as half small h. So the area of this triangle is area is equal to base times half of this height. You may have learned a formula for the area of a triangle already. Do you remember being told that area of a triangle is half the base times the perpendicular height? Well, that formula is the same as the one we just found by cutting the triangle to make the rectangle. Here though, we found that it can also be written as base times half the height. Algebraically, both formulae are the same.